and boys to a peep into the exciting world of civil aviation. Are you all ready for a little session to walk through the journey? I hope so and I'm sure you are. All of you who are joining me today on this web program already have a picture in your mind about civil aviation about an airport the hustle and the bustle of passengers walking around the terminal building as well as the aircraft i'm sure many of you would have seen even movies or television programs or gone to an airport or even flown in an aircraft to know what it is all about in a uh, within a few minutes i would like you all to just continue this journey imagining visualizing about this industry which has been one of the fastest growing industries not only in india but all over the world so can we begin our journey i'm elsie sepeda and had the honor to work and fly with air india our national carrier for 34 years wow that seems a long time but believe me 34 years passed like i don't know 34 hours because the job was so interesting that it was it is a career that i cherished and i always look back with great fond memories of my time with air india a career in any airline is not only well paid but you you will learn many things about life which um textbook may not be able to provide why do you think so just think think for a moment what is so special about this industry working in an aircraft or working in the airport handling passengers meeting different kinds of people what is it going to give you in your life the learning curve of your life much more maybe a textbook because you are dealing with real people real people of all ages of all nationalities from different states of india so it is something that's going to be very challenging because it is a every day is like a new day it's not like oh i have to go to the office today 10 to 5 sit at my desk no every day is a new day because each day is going to bring out something maybe challenging something very routine something very beautiful something where at the airport or in an aircraft you might spot your favorite cricketer a movie star or some businessman or woman that you admire so much for all their achievements and what do you learn in this job not just going through the training books because believe me your training is very extensive it's not about passing the examinations conducted by the government regulatory bodies or the in-house examinations the check flights or the checks on ground but what else is there for you to learn you will learn all about being 
well groomed at all times because you will be given uniform whether you are a ground staff or you are going to be a flying crew so you will wear your uniform and you will be taught during your training how to be well groomed appropriately for the job and there are experts who will guide you into this and you will also learn one of the most important lessons in life which we all tend to forget at times all of us patience when you deal with grown up passengers elderly passengers ladies children babies maybe a sick passenger or a vip politician you are facing different situations and you will learn one of the most valuable things in life called patience along with empathy i'm sure all of you know and understand empathy everybody likes to be treated like the way you want to be treated so these are some of the things that you are going to learn not only for your job but it's going to go a long way in your entire life career family life etc and also you will learn the art of communication because it is very important in this job in the capacity of working at the airport or in the flight you have to have good communication skills because people will want to talk with you you should be able to smile and answer them without any difficulty well now what is civil aviation i'm sure or most of you will have an idea so i will just go through it very quickly civil aviation means an organization a company like for example air india is owned by the government but spicejet go air indigo they are all owned by private companies however it is an organization using aircraft small aircraft big aircraft huge huge aircraft mostly jets now to transfer people who are called passengers from one place to another for example if it's in india from to another forum or from chennai to maybe to mumbai to kolkata or to le or to srinagar in kashmir and also taking passengers from one country to another country so we have the domestic airlines which fly most of the time only within india as well as the international airlines which fly all over the world and there are many many international airline companies most of you must be familiar with emirates qatar etihad lufthansa british airways oh boy the list is endless if you just spend some time doing any google search you will see so many different things that you can learn about different civil aviation department it's a huge department and we have a minister of civil aviation of cabinet rank they take care of all major major decisions about the civil aviation then we have another very very important government agency called director general of civil aviation or dgca very important people headquartered in delhi again they look after the safety aspect giving license whether for the aircraft or for the pilot for the crew and for all safety aspects the dgca 
is the governing authority in India. Then, of course, you have the airport authority of India, who are in charge of the airports, the maintenance of the airports, and uh, making sure that everything is working perfectly at the airport. Well, then there is. It is a very vast topic. Most of you will be our career-minded at this beautiful young age. Don't lose your opportunity. Work hard, study hard, listen to everything, discuss, learn, learn, learn. So there are different departments in any airlines. I can speak with a lot of confidence of Air India, which is a uh, one of our largest airlines and been there from 1953 August 1st so if you would like to join as an airport staff you will come under what we call a commercial department you will have your training and you will be given a uniform and you will work in shift maybe sometimes in the night sometimes in the morning but everything is well prepared so what does the ground staff or an airport staff do from the minute a passenger a group of passengers individual passengers a family they walk in through the entry point showing their tickets and id proof to the police at the entrance they will walk towards their respected airline because A might be flying on Air India, B might be flying on Spice Jet, C and D could be going on Bo Air. So they, it's very, very clearly, it's very visible the name of the airline and they go to the respective counter. So who is at the counter? The ground staff belonging to commercial department the first thing a passenger believe me looks forward when they are being met by this ground staff at the counter is a smile always wear a smile as part of your uniform a smile can win a heart a flight may be delayed by two hours three hours because after all, there can be weather problem or some aircraft problem or whatever. But if you smile and talk to the passenger with a bright, good morning, sir, good morning, madam, or in the afternoon, believe me, 50% of the anger within the passenger for a delayed flight is just, it vanishes because he or she feels Oh, they are really welcoming me. Nice girl, nice boy, smiling, well turned out, well groomed. So what does this ground staff do? Take the ticket from your hand. Nowadays, it's mostly even on the mobile phone, but you have to produce your Aadhaar card with your photograph as an ID proof. And they will check you in. Not only you, they will check your bags that you want to be sent to. Let's take our destination is Bangalore. So they will put a piece of paper to show that that bag is going to Bangalore and they will check you in and sometimes it's nice if you make a little small conversation with them when they're checking in. Um, and good to have you with us today. Please enjoy your flight. Would you like a window seat or would you like an aisle seat? And so on. All this is a big learning process and you will definitely master it because those of you who have joined today are so eager to join this wonderful, exciting world of aviation. Well, when the passengers have checked in, that is the role of a ground staff. There are different other people also on ground with the airline, like the security staff, who are making sure that all the bags are screened with an x-ray 
so that the flight goes safely without any problem of anything not supposed to be in the bag being inside the bag. With that, you give your board, the boarding pass to the passenger, then he has to go through the other formalities, the body check, the hand luggage check, etc. And then they go to the departure hall. Some of you dream about becoming a cabin crew. Beautiful. A girl is called air hostess. A boy is called a flight person. And the pilots are called captains. So after you wait in the departure hall, then you get inside the aircraft. They tell you when to board the aircraft. And again, at the entrance of the aircraft, you will be received warmly with a smile, very well groomed, charming cabin crew. Boy or girl, they are called cabin crew. And there will be others inside the cabin to assist you to your seat. Take the passenger, show the seat and help with the hand baggage. So these are some of the um, duties and responsibilities of the cabin crew. There are much more. And I would like to dwell on one point. One of the most important roles of a cabin crew of recruiting a cabin crew, of extensive training for eight weeks with examinations, you are there, number one, not only to serve the breakfast, tea, lunch, vada, rice, idia, pum, puttu, no. You are there for safety. You are there for the safety of all passengers. Very, very, very rarely there can be an emergency, but you are taught to assist the passengers to deal with an emergency in a very calm manner. That is your number one uh, duties and responsibilities. Then comes other responsibilities like taking care of the food service, taking care of uh, Sometimes your passengers who are not very well or recovering from surgeries, traveling with their family members or maybe even a doctor. But you have to be of assistance, take care of them. Little children traveling alone to visit their grandparents maybe. You have to take good care of them so they don't... Uh, uh, get too restless. Boy, I can tell you one thing. They are very smart. They know everything about their craft. And, but you have to have a little chat with them, give them their special food. And then, of course, the VIPs, politicians, maybe sometimes a bit difficult. Some of them are very nice. But you have to smile and deal with the situation politely. Sometimes maybe you have to be firm. You can be firm, but very, very politely. So food service is there, distributing magazines, newspapers, usual uh, little, little things in the aircraft. And uh, the captain can call you at any time. Any time the captain can make an announcement for the cabin crew to report to him. Maybe he wants another coffee, maybe he wants to have his lunch. So there are multiple disciplines that you have to follow in an aircraft. Make sure that the passengers are comfortable. If it is a long night flight after service, we always advise the cabin crew, dim the lights so that the passengers can have their rest. So that's something that you do as cabin crew inside the aircraft, some things that you do as a ground staff at the airport. There, is, there are a lot more things which you will learn when you start your training period. After landing, the cabin crew will open the doors when the captain tells her or him to open the doors and the passengers start disembarking. 
disembarking means leaving the aircraft again one or two at the door wishing them goodbye thanking them or just saying goodbye sir hope you enjoyed your flight any little little thing that you say with a smile will go a long way to make a good impression on a on the mind of any traveler any passenger big or small i always feel cabin crew and ground staff are like the ambassadors of our country of our hospitality of our warm nature as indians of our beautiful faces good looking that god has given us we speak with our eyes as we say so please make use of all this and you will never have any difficulty with dealing with any passengers on ground or in the aircraft now i will also talk about some of the other departments we have a very big department called engineering department all the airlines have this because they are the engineers and technicians who take care of all the aircraft to make sure that they are all fit for flying in good condition the seats are in good condition the seat belts that the passengers have to use are not broken the toilets are maintained they are in charge of everything then of course you have the personal department very important again because they are in charge of maintaining the records of uh, the recruitment of putting the advertisement Uh, in earlier many many years ago it all used to come out in the newspapers now it is mostly online that's why the youngsters have to keep their eyes open online for any opportunities then there is the finance department can anyone tell me why is it so important i can tell you i love them they pay your salaries exactly on the date you are supposed to get it goes into the bank because it's always now through the banks in most companies as well as their lines so they make sure that all your salaries are paid keep all accounts or when somebody is retiring or taking what we call voluntary retirement they make sure that the money due to them from the company is paid to them without any delay then we also have a medical department because i can speak with a lot of confidence for air india the way they take care of their staff amazing there are three four doctors even in chennai in a medical department so the staff can go to them at any time even they are unwell to meet the doctor to get their medicines and or the doctor can refer if you are having a toothache to go and see a dentist they will give you a treat so also a very big department that does a lot of service to all the staff and um, some of you might think why not even in this world of aviation look at a career choice maybe even of a, becoming a pilot why not lots of we have lots of girls who are pilots today lady pilots lots of men pilots which of course requires an extensive training not like if you want to become a cabin crew or ground staff but you have to go to a flight academy to learn flying what types of passengers or ground on ground that you could meet or be responsible whom we call special handling passengers this is a little important because this could be a small child traveling alone or a passenger coming on a wheelchair 
a passenger with some disability so these are people who need that little extra care they will be accompanied by people especially if they are sick their relatives or an attendant but lots and lots of children travel alone so this is a very important job for the ground staff who cannot just give the boarding card to this child and say okay ta ta bye bye now you off you go you can't do that so one person will keep the children with him or her and take the children through all the formalities through the security check everything and take these children and hand the children over personally to the air hostess or to the flight person on the flight after landing the air hostess or the flight person will hand over the children again to the ground staff of the airline because you are responsible for them till they reach their parents or they whoever has come to receive them your it's a big responsibility so this job is a lot of fun believe me you can be flying today from chennai maybe to london stay there for two days lovely hotel you have free time to do sightseeing shopping buying something uh, which you may not even find back home or just enjoying the moment of breathing in the fresh air in another place but there are some difficulties because there is a time difference it's still um very very early morning in paris very very early morning in london very very early morning in rome night in new york already people in australia and new zealand have finished their lunch and they're getting ready for their tea so all this your body requires what you call adjusting to the changes in time or the jet lag which believe me is no big deal is something that you just get used to it and you will start dealing with it so there are the domestic flights where you will fly within india and the international flights where you will travel all over the world isn't that exciting even to go and see srinagar to see kashmir to see jodhpur to see jaipur to see the beaches of orissa i mean it's mind boggling so this industry is something that will keep churning 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 your mind i hope i have given some background to about the world of aviation it's a very very small in introduction and i wish you all the very best thank you for your time have a nice day